how to paint in acrylics. My name is Michael Pickett and I'll be your instructor. Well, today's lesson will be a re-edit of Kitty. Beautiful cat that I did back in 2011. She is adorable. Well, let's go to my studio and I'll show you how it's done. I'll see you there. Well, the drawing of Kitty is almost finished, and there we go. And now we're going to take our burnt sienna and create a wash and cover that whole canvas. We're going to work on the eyes. We're going to start out with them first. We're going to take our Mars Black. And we're going to frame around the eye. I'm going to put in her pupil. And we're going to work on the other eye the same way. Now we're going to take some yellow and we're going to fill in around the eye. You see how that yellow is kind of mixing in with the black? So your black and yellow make green, and she's got these beautiful green eyes. Now we'll do the same thing for the other eye. We're going to get some blue and white and we're going to put in her lens and we're going to put the reflection of the sky into her eyes. It's kind of like building a, a landscape within the eyes because with the blue and the white It's like the sky, and then the green down below is like grass. And 
add more reflected light. We're going to create the lens for the eye. There we go. Right on. A little more dark there. All right. Now we're going to put in our undercoats. We're going to start out with our ears first. We're adding all our darkest colors in first. Now Kitty has this really unique pattern on her fur. She's really unique. Very beautiful cat. We'll just fill in all of the dark areas first. Fill in around the bottom. We're going to take more water and with what colors that we have in our brush already and we're going to fill in all the areas we haven't painted. Now we're going to work on our nose. Get some red and white. Fill in the area of her nose. Now we're going to add some white. And we're going to get some black. We're going to shadow in on the lower part of her nose. To make that look round by adding light in between the dark. We'll do a lot of blending. See what happens when we blend it in. We'll just add the dark along the side. Get some brown and white. And we're going to fill in alongside of her nose. Basically, that's just framing it in.
there she is. With our number zero brush, we're going to be doing some detail. We're going to bring out more of her fur. There we go. Now we're going to work on the background. We're going to take our blue and our white and our black. We're going to fill in the top part with the blue and white. And then when we get down to the lower part, we're going to fill it in with a little bit of black. We're we'll darkening it there on the left bottom corner. And get that all blended in and all blurry. And there we go. Right on. Well, we're going to work on our chin and underneath her chin. We're going to use fan brush. We're going to use white and blue. Let's get that filled in. Now we're going to fill in more on the side, use a little more blue and brown. Here we go. You see how that creates a gray? Isn't that pretty? It's a beautiful gray with the blue. in the shadows of her ears. Fan brush works great for the fur. A little more around her nose. on her whisker lines. Underneath her eye. Now we're dabbing very lightly on the dark part of the fur. And that gives it the optical illusion that there's actually fur there even though that it's dark. I'm going to put some reflected light on the fur around her eyes. And now we're going to work around her nose. She's looking pretty. We're going to darken it a little bit around the side of her face. Creating our fine detail now.
Now we're going to bring out our whisker lines. Add a little more light in between. And we'll create kind of a grid. Now we'll just darken it. Kitty has multicolored fur, which makes her a really beautiful kitty. Now we would use our fan brush and we'll blend it in. Work with our fan brush. We're still creating our fine detail. The fan brush will give your painting a little more texture to look like real fur. There you go. We'll add some dark around the side of her face to bring out some of that fur. Do a little more shadowing and set that back into the background. Okay. Continuing on with our fine detail and around the eyes. There we go. The middle part of her face in between her eyes, there's a lighter brown. Now add more texture onto the fur with her fan brush. Nice. Now we'll fill in around her chest with more fur and highlight it and to bring it out. The light reflects back part of her head. Fill it. 
ver, eh. We'll add a little more dark. We're gonna bring out our mouth a little bit more. Darken it up just a little bit. Just to bring it out. Get our light and we're going to blend it in. We're going to lighten up the background just a little bit more. There we go. Now we're going to brighten it up in between our eyes. A little more fur. See that beautiful pattern in between our eyes? There we go. Now we're going to put in some fur into her ears. We're going to do the other side. Put some fur into the ears. There we go. We're going to fluff her up a little bit more by using our fan brush. A little bit of white and a little bit of brown. There we go. Now we're going to take our number zero brush and we're going to create her whiskers, her eyebrows, lighten it up in between her eyes. Create all the long hairs. Do more detail work with your number zero brush. Now we're going to put in our whiskers. We're going to finish up our whiskers. We're almost finished. There we go. There's Kitty. Now we'll just sign our painting. And now we're going to paint the edges of our canvas black. That way you can hang it up on the wall without a frame. There she is. There's Kitty. Isn't she pretty? go. Now that's Kitty. Until next time, you have a wonderful day and happy painting. Bye.